please welcome Kirst Kristen Gore, everybody. Kristen Gore. First of all, let me apologize. I nearly said Kirsten. That's all right. And I meant to say Kristen. You know, my grandfather always called me Christian, and he was my grandfather. Really? So, Did yeah. he have you confused with Christian Slater? Because you look nothing like him. Really? No, oh, you look great. Oh, thank you. You very are much. by far and away the best looking author I've had in this show. Hands down. Dick Van Dyke's pretty hot. Dick Van Dyke's pretty hot. You're right. You're the second best thank looking author. You. Did you meet thank Dick you. Van Dyke? No, I tried to, and he just blew right past well, he had, me. Well, he had to go to the bathroom. Well, I there think you that's go. where. Yeah. That's what they all say. Yeah, there was like, yeah. right out of here. Did, are you a fan of the Mary Poppins? Huge fan. Mary Thank Poppins, goodness. oh my gosh. I, I, that was one of the movies that we had that we watched over and over and over again. You really? Know, at, yes, at a young age. You smoking a lot of put on Mary Poppins again. Lollipops. Lollipops, all four, right. No, it's nice. Seven. What's the book about, Kristen? Well, Craig, it is about... That was good. That was like a real talk show. <laughs> it was like a real talk we show right there. We I said, what's this. the book about, Kristen? You said, well, Craig. We were like, oh, see. doing stuff like it was real. Like there was no robot skeleton. Like we weren't in a uh -oh. basement. Like it was a real thing. We're really doing this. Yeah, dream. let's do it then. Let's live the dream. What's the book about, Kristen? Well, Craig, it is about a... Uh, it takes place in a fictional town in the South, and it deals with a... Uh, uh, a uh, crime that happened in the 60s that it gets uncovered, a civil rights era crime. A cold case? A cold case. I see, I know the lingo. Do you? Yeah. Well, I got inspired by the real life stories because a couple years ago, uh, I grew up partly in Tennessee, right. and um, there are hundreds of these unsolved cases across the South that got reopened in 2007. Why? And, uh, well, I think they realize there's a closing window on justice because the people are dying off. And ah, so, right. so they wanted to get them in jail before they died? <laughs> yeah. It struck, me, it struck me as sort of an American version of hunting down Nazi war criminals before right. they died. Oh, from the civil rights area? You're yeah, talking about, yeah, yeah. oh, so right, I see. Yeah. yeah. So, I, so I, the real life cases have all these elderly ex-Ku Klux Klansmen being brought in for crimes that they committed right. 50 years ago but were never prosecuted for. So I'm normally a comedy writer. This is not such a comedy, but right. it, it's... Uh, Sounds hilarious so well, far. I, I was right with you. What? Yeah. Oh, no. Yep, I know. Yeah. Hijinks ensue. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I got obsessed with the real life stories and um, and I wanted to try to do them justice. It, it's it's fascinating. Now, you're a comedy writer, you say. Are you busy? I... <laughs> Because, you know, you can hang here for as long as you like. I, we, we have openings. Do you? Oh, yes. Dream come true. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what kind of comedy have you written? What have you written? Uh, I started in TV. I wrote for Futurama for about I years. love Futurama! I'm so glad! I love Futurama! I was <laughs> on Futurama! Thank you for being yeah. on it. Yeah. yeah. That's a great show. Yeah, I loved it. it yeah. was, I moved out of, I got into comedy writing in college and I came out to LA without a job and... Oh, is this a tragic story of a young no, girl's... All no. right. Uh, they, uh. No, it was, um, I just started writing scripts and Futurama was the show that I wanted to write for. So right. I got, uh, luckily, uh, managed to land that job and loved it. I mean... Yeah, no, it was great. How long were you there? Uh, a couple of years until it got cancelled, but now it's back. Well, they cancel it every couple of years, though, don't they? they that do. show is yeah. like Family Guy. Yeah. They cancel Family Guy every couple of years and then go, oh, it's the greatest thing on our network, and then they put it back again. And Seth's like, not counting his money, just count his money. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. exciting for everyone. Did you ever work on uh, on any of the late night shows? I did. I wrote. I did some guest writing on Saturday Night Live. That's a good show. That is. Yeah, a that's, good show. A, yeah. that's a. That's a. Yeah, they got. They got. They got all sorts of stuff going on. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've got some good props here. I like. Oh yeah, I got props. the glittery ball. The Tardis yep. and the and the mouth organ. Um, it's a lot to work with. Yeah, well, you know, it's 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 what I got. Yeah. Yeah. It's what I got. The glittery ball's new, actually. We we just wrote wondering. that in hilariously enough. What goes on with that? Well, it's a it's a glittery ball on yep. top of a roll of tape. You know, it's yep. a standard comedy prop. Sure. <laughs> We don't have a lot here, no. really. No, no, we don't have a lot. Are you related in any way to any other gores that I might know? I am, to several gores. Um, who do you know? Gore Vidal. I am, distantly. Really? Distantly. Relatedly to Gore Vidal. <laughs> That's awesome. I know. So his uh, first name is the same as your uh, second name? Yeah. That, how often does that happen? Not that often. Not that often is I right, know. young lady. I know. It's well exciting. done. You have the job as comedy writer. Thank God. Such an uh, interview. Uh, Al Gore? Yep. Yep, know that guy. Right, okay. Yeah, um, yep, that's my dad. 
I'll go to your dad? Yeah. Uh, that's all right. He's your dad. He's your dad. He's a good dad. Yeah, he's a good dad. I, I bet know. he is. He yeah, is. I bet Great he is. Dad. Only one I got. Yeah, yeah. He's good. Good? Yep. D do you have any kids? No. Oh, it's time. No, oh, you think yeah, so? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing well in your career. You look good. Yep. It's, yeah, it's time. Really? Have you got a, have you got a, you know, a significant, uh, have you got a friend <laughs> wow. that you could... Uh... This is really getting personal. Why not? <laughs> Um, I should get on kids immediately. Okay. Yeah, yeah, problem. Okay. Do you get any pressure from your dad? Is he like, hey, come on, no? No, on. no. I mean, I, you know, he generally. Oh, the whole population thing, of course. Yeah, right. yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I forgot. Well, we need to populate the planet with people to save it. So, yes, yes, you know, that's, you can that's just true. twist it around to think so about it. So, no pressure it. on okay. your children then. No, not at yeah. all. Do whatever you want. You'll be you saving the planet, young <laughs> yeah. shaver. Or go write comedy, you know. That's yeah, well, comedy, I think, proud. has a therapeutic value, don't you think? I absolutely. you got to escape into laughter. Yeah, and also, I think nothing uh, nothing de-pants the powerful like a good joke. Ah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Speaking of that, I'm alarmed about the caffeine pants because I'm allergic to caffeine. You're allergic to caffeine? And I didn't realize they were putting it in clothing now that I would have to avoid. Well, I think they have to tell you. It's not like you put I on a pair of... I hope so. Yeah, no. They put it in water and they don't really tell you. Do they put it in water? Yeah. Maybe that's and what, the goofy Pluto thing that was going on with me <laughs> earlier then. Really? When did they do that? They do, They snuck it in there a couple years ago and I found out the hard way. And not all water, but it'll just be like energy water and oh, not really, yeah. you know. Anything and, um, that's got a word of energy on it usually has either uh, caffeine or a crystal meth in it. Yeah, that's yeah. Meth is fine. Caffeine, I can't. You enjoy do. the crystal meth? Well, yeah. I just don't have as much of an allergic reaction Yeah, to yeah, it. I know. I, I hear you. Yeah. Anyway, listen, we're out of time. The book yeah. looks fascinating. Thank you for, for coming by. And, and I'm going to read this. Uh, this is, uh, this will become clear to me when I read the book. It will. Right, right, right. Yeah, you'll find out where she's going. She's probably going down there, probably, isn't it? Keep reading. Nah, she's she's pretty. She I'm, I'm pretty sure she's headed in that direction. She might be walking backwards. No, she she could be walking yeah. backwards. I like the way your mind walks, <laughs> yeah. you crazy girl. All right, so uh, here's your options: okay. mouth organ, awkward pause, or touch my glittery bar. Awkward pause. Awkward pause. I'm good at pause. Uh, uh, yeah, awkward pause. <laughs> That was a bit lively. <laughs> Care to up the ante in the awkward pause? Make it some kind of subtext? I'll let you lead the way. Okay. <laughs> Let's move into smell my finger awkward Ooh. pause. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, your smell my finger awkward pause looks a little bit like Hitler moustache awkward. What is more awkward than Hitler? Well, that, what is more awkward than Hitler? Yes, that's right. <laughs> You're pretty good at this, huh? You practice this? Oh, inadvertently all the time. <laughs> Kristen Gore, everybody. All right, tying a tie, it's not a difficult thing to do. Untying a tie can sometimes be done. I don't normally do this to the end of the show. And this is a secret in television. What happens here is, for your tie to work, they put a little bit of tape on the other side of it so that it doesn't offend anyone. <laughs> All right, get your tie like this, right? And then you go like this. Let me see if I don't tie this properly now. After all that. And then you go like that, and you turn that. And then you've heard, and you'll be able to slow this down on the YouTube. And then, there you go, look at that, see?